Welcome back friends, today we are cooking black beans. Friends, you need some beans. So here is a black beans. It's about four cups of black beans. So the next thing that we'll do is just to boil some water and pour inside. So when I'm cooking beans, I always just boil water, pour inside and set aside for two hours before I cook. But you can always just take your beans and you cook the next day. So here is boiling water. So we we'll set the beans aside for about two hours before we go ahead and we prepare the beans. I'm using an instant pot to cook the beans. So fast forward, I have the beans in the instant pot. So I'll add in some water and I cook it. So when the beans is ready, we'll go ahead and stew it. To stew the beans, we need some fish, some onion that I've chopped, some garlic, some ginger, and some African onion, some tomatoes that I've chopped, some palm oil, about one cup, some bell peppers, this is my sacred ingredient, friends, and some crayfish or dry shrimps. Let's go ahead and stew the beans. So in a pot, go ahead and heat up some oil. So this oil, you can go ahead and just use palm oil or you can add in a little bit of cooking oil which is what I'm doing. So I'm adding in canola oil, heat it up. Then you go ahead and fry your onion. So you fry the onion until it is soft and translucent. You can also go ahead and add in some garlic to fry with the onion for more flavor. Then you add in your crayfish. So you will lightly fry the crayfish for about a minute or so. And then you add in the chopped tomatoes so you fry these tomatoes until the sardines disappear and after that cover the pot and allow the tomatoes to cook for about 10 minutes and 10 minutes later check the pot you just give the pot a gentle stir and then you can add in the fish all right so you could always add in fish if you want or you could just cook your beans simple. It depends on what you like. And here, uh, go ahead and add in the blended ginger garlic. And you can add in some seasoning cubes. I actually use like three for this recipe. So it just depends on the quantity of beans that you're cooking. And after that, you can go ahead and add in the African onion. This is so, so good also. In beans so give it a stir and you can now add in the beans you know stewed beans it doesn't take a long time it is very easy to prepare so these beans I'll be eating it with some plantain so, so you go ahead cut and fry the plantain so you just fry the plantain until it is golden brown okay so when you are frying the plantain just make sure that you turn the side so that it will evenly cook on both sides and you will have that golden brown color that you like just like so and then you can now go ahead take it out from the oil put it on the tissue paper to drain extra oil and allow it to cool a bit and then you can serve it with some beans and so the beans can also be served with some puff puff very perfect street food back home some gato or you can serve it with some potato or with some rice, name it. And that is all about the stew beans recipe. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you did watch up to this point, I appreciate you all. I got your back, friends. See you next time. Bye.